For this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the settings of your profile so you can modify things such as your avatar picture and uh, contact info. As you can see here, I'm already under my student account. Then I'm going to go up top to settings. Uh, here's where you can upload a file. You can make a new avatar picture. Just click on the file that you want and hit open and it'll automatically come up. You can also have some pre-selected avatars on here already. And if you need to go back in, this is also a time where you could change your password or um, you can give little additional things such as first name, things like that. The big thing I like to change is if you put in your email to begin with when you made your account, you can make sure that every time, especially if you're the teacher, you can get an email sent to you I normally tell my students that they should just do it for assignments, direct messages, and notes if they like, or really just assignments and direct messages. This means so that every time that I post an assignment or a message directly to them, they're going to get an email about it. If you're the teacher, I would recommend that you check off all these things if you like. It especially comes in handy when you're trying to track down cyberbullying and if teachers or, or you know your students are trying to post inappropriate things. Hit save notifications. You can also go down to a text message, add in your phone number and your provider, and again only tell your students to do this option as long as they have unlimited text messaging. And again, if they do, just do assignments and direct messages or their phones are gonna blow up. Put in their full phone select your provider and hit save notifications it's a great way to connect with your students especially if they have a smartphone or an ipod they could send messages back and forth to each other